Hey guys, how you doing today? Thank you for taking the time to check out the video. I'm Glenn Kay of Silent Takeover, Dolphin Shavers and Silent Shavers. And today we're having another look at the Town Hall 12 Bat Slap versus an island based design in this season's CWL. As always, before we get started, if you do find the video useful, then please drop me a like or comment below. And also hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with regular content and videos on Town Hall 8 through to Town Hall 12. Now if you'd like to join me in Clash then please check out the description below. You'll find the clan tags and the requirements for joining us as well as a handy link for the Silent Takeover Discord. Now before we get into the attack and the replay today, uh, just an update on where we are in the CWL. As you can see here we are top of the league. Um, we've still got the team in second place to play on the last day of the season. Um, but it's looking good for us, certainly looking that, at that total destruction compared to the others. Okay, so the attack today was completed by myself on number one in today's war. As you can see here, we're completely annihilating this clan that we're up against. Um, and in fact, we could be on for a perfect score if the remaining guys get on and do what's needed to be done. But anyway, let's have a look at the layout. So again, it's one of these island-based designs. So we've got the four compartments with the town hall in one, an inferno at the bottom, inferno at the top, and then we've also got the eagle and the last inferno in the left-hand compartment. So what am I going to do about this base? Let's check out the army comp. So we've got the three archers, two wizards, five healers, a pecker, 12 of the witches, two ice golems, a wall wrecker with a further ice golem and a pecker in there, all of the heroes, four free spells, one poison, six bat spells, and then a CC rage. Now the first note that I'd like to make here is usually I would be using an E dragon to funnel, but today we've got a pecker instead. And the thought process behind this is I'm going to be looking at coming in on this top compartment. So part of that is using an E-drag to funnel. But if you notice, we've got the two air defences with quite a large radius, which would end up taking out the E-dragon quite early on. So what I decided to do was switch out the E-drag for the pecker, which will get, I felt that I would get much more value for the troop capacity. So what we're going to do is we're going to look to use the wall wrecker to come across the top half of the base down to the town hall with the AQ and the witches. And they, the plan here will be to get all the way across and into this compartment before pushing down into the bottom. And then at this quadrant here, I'm going to use the bats because we've just got a single target inferno and the eagle and there isn't actually any splash damage in any whiz towers and the plan then would be for the bats to continue pushing down and everything meeting up at the bottom doesn't quite work out that way but let's explain how we're going to do this so first up we're going to use the pecca right here and she's going to start taking out some of these outer trash buildings and the king is going to be placed right here and he's going to end up taking out these army camps and wrapping around this part of the base. What this leaves us with here is a beautiful funnel for us to then be able to push into this top quarter of the base. So we're going to place first up our ice golem followed by the wall wrecker so the ice golem is going to tank for the wall wrecker and then we're going to place the AQ and the healers followed by the witches and the warden. Everything is going to go into this first compartment here and we're going to trigger and pull the CC. At this point what we're going to do is we're going to use the poison to slow the CC down. We're going to use a rage spell on our witches and our queen and also as there's an incoming eagle strike i also decide to use the grand warden ability here just to help prevent me losing too many of my troops they're going to clear the cc take out the aq 
and destroy this quarter. They will then push on into the next quarter, which houses the town hall. So we're just going to change our view a little bit here for the remainder of the attack. So this is gone. And the king has managed to wrap all the way around here. And our main witch and queen army is bearing down on the town hall. At this point, I'm then going to start the bat phase of the attack. And these guys are going to be placed here and begin taking out this quarter. I do use a couple of free spells just to help hold up the eagle because I didn't feel that I would need the free spells on the back end of the attack. Um, and the bats do run out of steam. They may manage to take out the eagle artillery, but that's as far as they get. However, the eagle is taken, the second inferno is taken, and because of the huge volume of witches and my queen that are la is left, I also managed to carry a couple of the ice golems right into the latter part of the attack. I have more than enough troops to not only take out this section, but then finish off coming down to the bottom and wiping out the rest of the base. So let's check out the attack itself. And there you have it, the Town Hall 12 Bat Slap versus Island Base Design. Um, I don't know if this is an attack that you guys have started picking up and using yet. If it is something that you're using, let me know in the comments below how you're getting on. And that'll be it for today, guys. So yes, drop that like and that comment and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And until next time, keep on clashing.